Hello, welcome to year one and to reception. Lovely to see you all. Are you ready to do some singing and some music? Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to start with your left and your right, okay? Doing some marching. You can march on the spot or you can use your hands like me, okay? Are you ready? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Right, we're going to bang our drums. You ready? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. They bang their drums to the top of the hill and they bang them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I've got a tub here that I'm going to show you. Okay. This was a container, this one was a Christmas one we had that had some sweets in it. Um, you can use this as a drum. If you've got something like this in your house at home, you might have a tub like this. You might have something like this. This one had tea bags in. You might have a tin a bit like this or maybe a pot of something, okay? Ask a grown-up if you can get hold of some kind of tub. Here's another one. And if you'll notice, if I just tap the top, we've got our very own drum. Okay. Now the next song we're going to do is the instrument song. You'll remember this one. Okay. If you haven't got an instrument in front of you, you can try clapping your hands like this. Or even clicking your fingers, if you can click your fingers. Or patting your knees like this. Okay. So I'm going to start off with my first instrument. Okay. The first instrument I've got here is a maraca. We'll talk in a little while about what things we can use to sound like some of the instruments and things you can use at home. Okay, so get ready to clap with me, tap with me. Ready. I am playing one maraca, one maraca, one maraca. I am playing one maraca. I am playing an African drum, an African drum, an African drum. I am playing an African drum. Next I've got a woodblock. Okay, I'll explain to you soon how we can make a woodblock sound as well. I am playing a woodblock, a woodblock, a woodblock. I am playing a woodblock. Okay, then we've got some castanets. Here on castanets. I am clicking castanets, castanets, castanets. I am clicking castanets. Okay, I've got one more here. Okay, this is the one we call a guiro. Okay, now you'll see on the guiro, it's got this edge here looks a bit knobbly and if I move 
the wooden stick acro across here, it goes like this. Okay, I am playing the choir roll, the choir roll, the choir roll. I am playing the choir roll. Okay, right, so let's have a look and see if we can find some things that sound like my instrument. So here's my maraca. And here I've got a, a pop that just had some bath stuff in that I had and inside I've put some pasta, dried pasta, or a little bit of rice that it hasn't been cooked can go in here. Okay, and we'll just give it a shape like this and then we get a sound, a bit like a maraca. If you've got something like that at home, that's a really, really easy thing to make. This lid is fixed on nice and tight, but you might want to put some sticky tape around the edge. Okay, then we had a wood block. Now, how are we going to get a woodblock sound? How are you going to get a woodblock sound, do you think, from what you've got at home? Well, I had a little look and I found some spoons. We've got some spoons here. Okay, and if we take a metal spoon and a wooden spoon and we try playing them like this, side to side, can you hear that? You get a nice woodblock sound. If we go back to our woodblock, this is what it sounds like. If we go back to our spoons, this is what they sound like. Very similar. Okay, and then we've also got our castanets that we're clicking here and I tried two metal spoons we're trying to try we're going to make a really similar sound with these metal spoons like this okay so this is what our castanets sound like and this is what our spoons sound like very very similar not exactly the same but very similar Okay, so we've got a few different things that we can make sounds with. If you want to now, you can pause the, the video and ask a grown-up if, if they've got any pots or anything that you can use, a pot or a tub, or some spoons that you can use to help make a sound. Okay, if you want to pause the video, do it now. Okay, so we're going to carry on with our music. Okay. Okay. So we're going to carry on. I'm going to use my my spoons to make a woodblock kind of sound like this. Here's the big clock song. Are you ready? Big clocks. Tick quite slowly, tick, tock, tick, tock. Small clocks tick more quickly, tick a tocker, tick a tocker. Watches go much faster, tick a tocker, tick a tocker, tick a tocker, tick. Let's try that again. Big clocks, big clocks tick quite slowly tick tock tick tock small clocks tick more quickly tick a tocker tick a tocker watches go much faster tick a tocker tick a tocker tick a tocker tick okay here's another one that you'll remember Now for this next song, we need you to make a sound effect. 
we need a bell-like sound, like a clock chiming, like this. Dong. Think you can do that? Should we try that again? Dong. Okay. And then we need a sound of a mouse going down the clock. And we do this sound. If we go. Okay, so we try that. Here's our clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Hickory, dickory, dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. You ready? The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. Dong! The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Right, we've got another song here. For this song, we need to be really, really nice and quiet because there might be a fish coming in a minute. Are you ready? So we've got five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Are you ready? One. Two, three, four, five. One side caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger. On my right, you ready? Fish is coming. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One side caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right. If you listen carefully, you might hear a bear coming. I wonder whether you can hear the bear, or I wonder whether you can see the bear. Okay? Okay, so we're going to use our spoons if we've got them. Or our tub if we've got our tub or our box. Or our plastic container. Watch out for the bear. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. 
But all that he could see, oh, all that he could see was the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain was all that he could see. I wonder whether you can see the bear. Should we see if the bear's coming? Okay, here's our mountain. Here comes our mountain. Should we see if we can see him? You join in with your tub if you can. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. But all that he could see, oh, all that he could see was the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain was all that he could see. Oh, he's gone now. Off goes the bear. Okay. I'm going to have another animal song now. Okay. Okay. Now this song starts very quietly as well. Monkey, 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 monkey. You might be able to see the monkey in a minute. Monkey, 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 monkey. I went to the animal fair. The birds and the beasts were there. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. The monkey fell out of his bunk, boom, boom, and slid down the elephant's trunk. Whee! The elephant sneezed, oh, choo, and fell on his knees. But what became of the monkey, 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 monkey. Oh, here's the monkey. I went to the animal fair. The birds and the beasts were there. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. The monkey fell out of his bunk, boom, boom, and slid down the elephant's trunk. Whee! The elephant sneezed, achoo, and fell on his knees. But what became of the monkey, 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 monkey. Here's the little monkey. Okay. We've got a story now about another animal. Okay, this story is about a tiger. Here's the tiger. Here he is. Okay. We've got a little song to go with this story to start the story off. Okay, so I'm going to get my drum out. Okay, here's my drum again. Okay, if you've got a tub you can hit. Try hitting it like this. You ready? Ready. The tiger who came to tea. The tiger. Who came to tea? Oh, did you ever, did you ever, did you ever see a tiger who came to tea? Okay, now, in this story, we're going to use some sound effects, okay? And we need you to practice these sound effects first. So we're going to need a doorbell sound effect because the tiger rings on the doorbell. So I need you to practice the doorbell first. The doorbell sounds like this. Ding dong. Can you do that? Ready? Ding dong. Okay. Another sound effect I need you to practice is gobbling down some food like this. Like that. Can you do that? Gobbling down some food. Gobbling down some food just like the tiger does because the tiger has rather a lot to eat. And when I'm doing that, particularly when the tiger eats all the food in the saucepans, 
I've got my saucepan here and my wooden spoon and we're going to go oh, should we try that again one two brilliant okay so those are the sound effects you need to, to have a little practice okay if you want to pause the video now and practice your sound effects remember you've got your doorbell ding dong and then you've got your tiger gobbling up all the food ready okay right ready if you need to pause the video to practice your sound effects, do that now. Okay? Brilliant. Okay, so here's the story of the tiger who came to tea. The tiger who came to tea. The tiger who came to tea. Oh, did you ever, did you ever, did you ever see a tiger who came to tea? Here he is. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Dong, dong. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning and it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes and it can't be daddy because he's got his key we'd better open the door and see so they opened the door and there was a great big furry stripy tiger the tiger said excuse me but i'm very hungry do you think i could have tea with you and sophie's mummy said of course come in so the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Oh my goodness, can you imagine a tiger sitting down at your table? Goodness me. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't take just one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Are you ready for your sound effect now? <laughs> and he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake. Until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. Are you ready? Goodness me. And then he looked round the kitchen to see what else he could find. It's 18 hours. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans. <laughs> and all the food in the fridge. Ready? <laughs> And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. And he drank all the milk, all the orange juice, 
all Daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Then he said, Thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for Daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. Oh dear. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had eaten all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. Dear me. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. So that's what they did. They went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. There they are. Going out for tea. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger ever came to tea again. But he never did. And there's the tiger saying goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Have you got an instrument there? If you've got a tub like mine. Like this one. Or you've got a container like this one. Or you've got a tin like this one. Have a go at using it now. With a spoon, something to play it with. If you haven't, just use your hands. The tiger who came to tea. The tiger who came to tea. Oh, did you ever, did you ever, did you ever see? A tiger who came to tea. Oh, did you ever, did you ever, did you ever see? A tiger who came to tea. Do, do, do. Well done on all your lovely singing and well done on all your lovely playing today. See you next time. Bye for now.